welcome to the Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. And today we have in here for evaluation is a wonderful grouping. This grouping belonged to Captain Andrew J. Stone. Andrew J. Stone was a member of Company F of the 9th Regiment of the New Hampshire Volunteers. This is a magnificent sword here you see in front of you. And it has the presentation engraved on the throat. And on the front side of the throat of the scabbard it says, Presented to Captain A.J. Stone by members of Company F, 9th Regiment, NHV. Then on the back it has the date of it, the presentation. It was August 14th, 1862. Andrew Stone joined the 9th Regiment of the New Hampshire Volunteers at age 33 and he was elected captain immediately. Andrew Stone was liked by the men of his company and if you look in the background above the sword there you will see a roster and on this roster this is a a note that the men of the company wrote and pledging so much per person to purchase this sword. So he was well liked and this is the documentation on the sword is this little roster behind it next to this picture and it shows how much each soldier of this company contributed for this presentation sword and collecting this is what we love to see this is the kind of province that you you just die for because this it backs up anything and everything on a particular grouping. So there it is, and you can, a clever man's going to get close to it, and you can see what each guy contributed for this presentation sword. And along with this presentation sword is his sash, his crimson sash. And of course, we have a book in front of it, which can be purchased. This is called Race of the Soul, and this is the complete history of the 9th New Hampshire Regiment during the Civil War. But anyway, back to, to Captain Stone in the 9th New Hampshire Regiment. The New Hampshire Regiment fought in all the Eastern Theater, including the major battles of Antietam, Fredericksburg, and Spotsylvania. And during the heavy battle of Spotsylvania in May of 64, Captain Stone was mortally wounded in the abdomen. And one of his men, Herman Clement, went out on the field after the battle and found him laying there, took him to the hospital one of the field hospitals that was set up after the battle and he lay there for a couple of days and Herman stayed with him he died a painful death according to Herman so Herman took his body and sewed it up in a blanket and buried him there at Fredericksburg and in his memoirs he said it was an undignified burial for Captain Snow and so that's the history of Captain Stone. He was a gallant man. He was loved by his men. You have a wonderful presentation sword. We'll talk about the sword just here for a second. This is an imported sword. It is what they call a non-regulation sword. It has the, the American Eagle, spread eagle in the mount, and the panoply of arms. And of course the cameraman will get all this. The mounts are, are embellished. And uh, you know, to the presentation grade that the sword possesses, it has the original sword knot with it, and and that's wonderful to see. And then we'll have the cameraman uh, get some close-ups of the blade. But this is a true wonderful grouping of kind of one of the unsung heroes of the Civil War that gave his life. And again, this is Captain A.J. Stone of the 9th Regiment, New Hampshire Volunteers. Now we're going to put an appraisal on this grouping of $15,000 because he was killed in one of the major battles in the Eastern Theater and he fought in the three major battles of the Eastern Theater. So from the Civil War Guru, have a great day.
Thank you.